Okay, people, I'm going to read a comment that I just wrote in regards to this video here by Canadian Prepper. Major alert, UK sends emergency message, Russia, highest level of nuclear alert, US warns China. Anyway, he's going on and on and on and on. And this is what I wrote. Because he brought up the subject of Canadian inner cities and how they look like crap. Well, all the homeless people. Just whatever. Anyway, this is my response. Okay. And there's a reason why I say this because been there, done that. I already know how these people operate. Okay. Anyway, Canadian-born people are being replaced with an immigration population that is biased, prejudiced, and racist. In part, largely because of the different types of religion or lack thereof that they practice. Okay? Some of them don't even believe in God. Some of them are completely anti-God, if there ever was a God in their mind. And the only reason they stick together is because they're too much of cowards to stand on their own. Right? So therefore it becomes organized religion to which organized religion has partnered up with municipal, provincial, territory, and federal governments, so much so that government has become dangerous to the point it is so corrupt that it has become impossible to protect your family and yourself. Hold on. Hey, let's read that again. Where was I? Let's start up here again. Organized religion has partnered up with municipal, provincial, territory, and federal governments, so much so that government has become dangerous to the point it is so corrupt that, at, that it has become impossible to protect your families or yourself. The problem is too big and wide. Just like shithole cities in a shithole country like Canada, UN soldiers are already here. Haven't you noticed the dump trucks hauling off busted down houses, house after house, block after block, district to district, and with that said, the streets become littered with the dead if they can't get you inside the house before they destroy it for property development. Well... I speak from experience, people. Okay? Because what's been going on in the last, I don't know, 10, 15 years, mm -hmm. pushing into 15, a little over 15 years. I don't know. I don't think this guy will ever say it, but. Some of these individuals that are sitting up in our parliament buildings perpetrating to be freaking politicians, trying to do the right thing by the public, they've been infected with something or they've been completely replaced with an alien entity. Like, whether it's a robot, completely mechanical, or whether it's a clone, or whether it's some sort of hybrid, spliced and diced species with something else with a little bit of human DNA in there. Who freaking knows? All I know is they're not what we think they are. Okay? 
go into my videos, you're going to find videos in there that are going to clearly show that there's something wrong with them. Okay. And th they, they participate in morbid activity. And the reason I say they participate in it is because they protect it and they cover it up. It's because when you take them to court and you hold them to account for their morbid activity, they use their positions of authority, taxpayers' money, to cover up the crimes so that they can continue, so that people like Canadian Prepper can point out that we have shithole cities in a shithole country compared to other countries that actually invest into their, um, you know, population their constituency, the ones that were born in that country. So, you know, right? And in terms of the UN, well, it's already here, people. I've already mentioned it, okay? They got these bands of guys over here and bands of guys over there and bands of guys over there with the few big rich wigs going around buying multiple properties at one time and then they all come in together after a good night drunk and then just start demolishing everything and they toss your shit and you out out into the streets basically if they're not medically kidnapping you with their hospital workers okay because you got money and they want the money if you don't got the money you get the streets it's one or the other that's what my channel shows you. How deep the corruption goes, and it goes back to organized religion, partnering up with freaking rotten, stinking, corrupt government, to which many of those individuals have been infected with something. The sooner people realize that they're not dealing with normal human beings, then perhaps they might have a chance to not be annihilated by world politics that slither around and blow up train tracks and you know stupid shit like that right and start fires and chicken houses and not just one but you know a whole bunch of them and right and food processing plants and you know let the wheat rot and you know right? cuz you can't ship it and just the whole nine yards I don't know. I don't know what's. I don't know what's going to take for people to wake up. Like seriously, there needs to be a culling of these things, of these things, people, because that's what they fucking are. They're fucking things, okay? Like you know, like and I and and the reason I'm maybe a little agitated about this is because you know, I mean, we knew this was coming. Apparently, I just found out. Just one, my house. Two. No, not even two. My house, the next house, my house so far is quote unquote safe. The house next to me is quote unquote safe. Put the freaking duplex on the corner. The next house and the next house going this way are all being ripped up, torn up, hauled out of here in the summertime so they can come along big dig another big ass fucking hole like they, do, they did over here with this building that's been sitting there supposedly done quote unquote for the last two years empty is still sitting empty it's been sitting empty for so long that everybody in the freaking neighborhood can see it for themselves but don't forget it floods out in the basement and it floods out all the other properties right how convenient, right? Make it make our lives miserable, right? As they're plotting and scheming to tear down another three more houses, not even one house away from me, people. Okay, so what does that mean? I got these big ass fucking dump trucks going up and down roads that they're not supposed to be going up and down. I'm gonna have the big ass fucking dump trucks and, and back hoes and god knows what and more dump trucks and this truck and that truck for what another two years, three years going up 
up and down the fucking alley. Maybe hit Andre, kill one of the cats. Andre says, oh, Manana, if they start bringing the dump trucks out, the cats can't go out. I said, Andre, and I can't keep cats in the house for three years. And that's assuming that they don't come after my house because we already know they're coming after my house, people. That's why the landlord has that fucking sign up for almost a year now. They're waiting for the big fish to come in and buy up all the, that, this pro that property, this property, and that property so they can kick us out into the fucking street so people like Canadian Prepper can sit up there and talk about how decrepit our inner cities are. Right? As they... Injured children at the time of their birth, because they're a prestigious fucking doctor, as they're ripping out fucking organs at the time of, well, death, but not really pronouncing them dead, because they need the fucking organs, right? If they would have pronounced their dead in the house, the coroner would have came in. It would have been a different freaking story, people. They wanted them fresh. They wanted them on the black market, people. She was already cued to be gutted, People! There's house after house after house after house after house after house after house is being torn down. And then the government wants to sit up there and say, Oh, no, no, you're not being gang stalked. You're not being targeted. Mm -mm -mm. No, you shouldn't have had so many kids. Mm -mm. No, you, you, you should have ate fucking bugs. And maybe if you would have ate bugs for 20 years, you'd have enough money to pay your rent today. Mm hmm bitch. Mm hmm Yeah. Let's 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 do our little MS team court on the computer and yeah, put on fucking headphones. So you're the only one gonna listen. Well, Tish can't hear, Rhea can't hear, because we're gonna brainwash you to think that this little fucking kangaroo court situation that they put me on with MS team after they freaking destroyed my family people and they're gonna put headphones on my ears to convince me that what there's what they have to say is 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 word? Is God's word? No, it's those things, people. That slither around. That partnered up with organized religion and bought them off. Because they're not godly. There's nothing godly about what's going on in Canada. Nothing. It's nothing, nothing godly. But he ain't going to talk about that shit. No, 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 no. He's just going to talk about when the freaking big bomb goes off. And what we're going to do. Well, not everybody can afford fucking gas masks for the whole freaking family. As if. We can't even keep up with what we're doing when it comes to food prep. Or making sure that we have the resources to filter or, or our own water just in case. You know? Right? So yeah, I got extra charcoal in the house. I showed my son where it is. I said, you see that box there? Do you see that pot there? Do you see that there? Okay, that's all to do with per filtering your water if and when the shit, any kind of shit, hits the fucking fan here. And if need be, in my bedroom, I have those little drops that help to clean the water as well. But yeah, I spent like, I don't know how much money I spent for freaking charcoal just for that purpose, people. You know, as I'm sitting here like, oh, wow, that's great. So they're going to start in the summertime busting up three more fucking houses, not even one house away from me. And they're going to come up through the fucking alley and they're going to go up and down the fucking road. And they're just going to be, it's just going to be mayhem with their big cement trucks and everything. Okay. It's just going to be fucking mayhem, right? For umpteen years, two years, at least two fucking years as they build another freaking what? Condo? Yeah, okay. As that one still sits empty? Yeah, okay. That one sits in the dark year after year? Well, that one over there that they built down there is nothing but like fucking lights. That's all it is. It's just blaring lights. Because it's a, it's a psychological warfare going on out here, people. It's telling you something. When you got one fucking building sitting in the dark for two fucking years and another one sitting over there with every single light on blaring at top speed, what do you think's going on? As they're tearing down another three, four, three more houses. And calling that progress. As they kick out everybody. They literally, they kick them out. They're, that's what they do. They kick them out. And because the organized religion has gone 
completely out of fucking control. They, they, they've maximized their dollar amount through that corruption in terms of rent. Throughout the whole industry, because the government allows it, because the government itself is fucking corrupt and is harvesting the Canadian-born people. It is harvesting the Canadian-born people as they bring in the immigrants, trying to convince the immigrants that they're going to have a better fucking life. Don't worry. Here, take this. We'll set you up. We'll pay for this. We'll do this. We'll do that. But now that you, we've done that for you, you owe us. So we're going to go put you in a fucking hospital in this position, even though you're not freaking qualified, people. Been there, done that, seen it with John, seen it with Shemay, seen, I see it all the time. Half of them can't even speak fucking English and don't know what the fuck they're doing, but yet they're being employed in a, in a healthcare professional position. Yeah, okay. No, they're, they're the grunt workers to do the dirty work, the ones like the body snatchers that come into your house and say, oh, oh, well, we're just trying to save her. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but we're just going to put her ass in a fucking hammock, hook her up to a provision machine after we get you running off down the hall, right? Go chase, off, go, go chase, get, get, I'm my responsibility to get Julian out of the fucking kitchen. Yeah, no, it wasn't my responsibility, but they needed Julian to get me out of the kitchen so that they can fucking hook up a perfusion machine onto Shemay, and then they wanted to hide it, people, and they put it in a fucking hammock. Welcome to Canada, people. And then they took her to the hospital, and with seven hours, they gutted her open like a fucking fish. You don't like it? Too fucking bad. Welcome to the real world. Because that's what's going on here in British Columbia and Canada. And if it's happening here, it's happening all across the shithole fucking country. And they bring in their immigrant workers mainly to do it. And if they can't fucking get the Canadian-born people to do it for them, well, that's easy. Just snuff them out. Do a shimmy. We don't want you to grow up to be a nurse. We don't need you to be a nurse. God forbid you'd be a fucking detriment to our dollar bottom line because we know that you'd be a whistleblower. So we're just going to take you fucking out. Yeah, yeah. And then we're going to go get some stupid nurse over there and, and we're either going to replace her, kill her off, and fucking replace her with something that kind of looks like her, or we just won't let her work because, you know, she doesn't want to infect herself with something. So we'll just get something that came in off the fucking boat. Put them into school for three fucking months. Teach them how to speak a little bit of English. And put them in that fucking position. Just as long as they do as they're told. That's all that matters! Doesn't matter if it's right or wrong. Because it's always going to end up being wrong. Because it's an annihilation against the Canadian-born people. So yeah, we got shithole fucking inner city, not, not even an inner fucking city. Every fucking community right across this freaking stupid, rotten, stinking fucking country. As the immigrants are moving in to improve it. Yeah, no, they're not improving it, people. They're fucking making it happen. I don't know what part people don't understand about that picture. Don't come to me talking about you have a religion when you and your religion don't even believe in fucking God. <coughs> the only thing you believe in is greed. <coughs> yeah. <coughs> That's exactly what it is. <coughs> you only stick together because your fucking greed glues you together. And through that greed makes you fucking evil, mean, and dangerous. <coughs> <coughs> and being that you're fucking body snatchers, for the most part, <coughs> <coughs> Body snatched John, body snatched me, body snatched Amari, mm hmm. <coughs> All fucking Punjabis that injured my family, people. All fucking Punjabis that injured my family, people. As they're forcing me slowly but surely out into the fucking streets, people. <coughs> With their organized religion. <coughs> 
as they commit their little petty crimes around a fucking neighborhood, right? And get a green light on that one with the city. Mm hmm. <coughs> because somehow they're so special. <coughs> and then they bring in their fucking UN soldiers to do even more damage. Yeah, and you're going to see that fucking damage. This summer, you're going to see it. <coughs> so, that's why your cities look the way they look. Because they're not built on honor. They're built on destruction and greed. That's it. <coughs> They've been invaded. They've been taken over. <coughs> they're being wiped out. And anything that's alive that doesn't look like them, whatever that them is, <coughs> are being wiped out. The animals are being wiped out. Domestic and wild. Okay? Right? Kick the tenants out of the house. What happens? They can't keep their animals because they can't find another house to rent. That's affordable. <coughs> so they lose their animals. Unless, of course, they bring them out onto the streets. And if it's a dog, the city wants it. Because they can take the dog, take it to a different fucking district, and sell the damn dog. They don't care so much about cats. That's why cats are always roaming around free. Right? And feral. But other than that, yeah, that's, that's what happens. And then... They get rid of the raccoons and the Matildas and, you know, and those kind of animals, right? The squirrels, because there's nothing for them to freaking eat because they tore down all the fucking trees, people. The apple trees, the pear trees, the peach trees, right? The, the freaking walnut trees, all of it. The white oak trees, they tear them all down, every last one of them. The pine trees, all of it. And then they come in with their fake little cheap ornamental trees to make it look like they're environmentally sound. Yeah, okay. <clears throat> no, you're just setting up the next generation to eat your fucking bugs as you sit up there in your fucking smart city with your monster houses. Mm hmm. After you raped your fucking environment and you eat what you want to eat. As you expect people living in your fucking slum buildings to eat bugs. Yeah. That's what's happening in Canada, people. Huh?